Inheritance, what? I know you probably have a test coming up or a project due, but I just wanna say you'll be okay because I'm gonna walk you through inheritance in Java. If you're new here, my name is Alex. I make Java tutorials just like this every single week. So if you're new here and you might be interested in that, then please consider subscribing. Inheritance is one of those big words that comes along with learning Java. And since Java is an object-oriented programming language, there are a lot of terms that come with it. If you're unsure about what object-oriented programming is, or you just like a little refresher, I made a video about it recently, and you can check that out on the screen now. That'll get you a really good fundamental on what object-oriented programming is and how it can help you program. So let's first start off by going to File, New, Java Project. I'll just call it like Inherit, something like that. Hit Finish. And now we have a Java project set up. Who here is a gamer? Well, that's great. I'm glad to hear that you are. And I'm excited to let you know that we're starting a gaming mouse company. We're going to be creating gaming mice of all sorts of varieties. Me and you, we're a team. And in three months, we have to come up with five different gaming mice. But we also need to write the software for each of the gaming mice. He's like, cool, yeah, I'm excited. But how do we start that? I know how to make a for loop, but how's that gonna help me like make a mouse and, so and program one? Java solves this problem for us through its nature of object-oriented programming. What we can do is we can create objects for different mice. And so yeah, we'll, we'll try to do that. We'll try to create five gaming mice as objects in this project. So we'll go to file new class. And in this video, we're gonna work on three of them, just cause five is gonna be too many. <laughs> so we'll call it like mouse one, finish, and we'll make two more. Mouse two, and mouse three. So we've got our three mouse classes here. I'm just gonna remove the main method, that was an accident. So they should all be empty classes like this. And don't worry, we'll get to inheritance in a second, but first let's just start making these mouse objects and start making them pretty cool. We'll say one mouse is like a cool matte black texture. We can set the texture equal to matte. Of course, it has left and right click, so we'll make some methods like left click and right click. And for simplicity's sake, we'll just print out click like that in each of them. But mouse one also has another cool feature. It's also got some, some RGBs on it. So we can set a certain color and we can say which color and we'll print out that it's that color. Let's go on over to mouse two. It can also do left click, right click. So I'm just gonna copy these over. And let's say it's special feature that makes it stand out is that it's Bluetooth. So we can have a method like connect and we can connect to Bluetooth. And finally, mouse three also knows left click, right click. So we'll copy and paste that over here. But its special feature is that it's ambidextrous. So we'll actually just have that like maybe as a property here and say boolean ambidextrous equals true. Something like that. So we've got three mouses here, each slightly different. They all know how to left click, right click. And so repeating this code a lot can be pretty redundant just makes it difficult to keep track of. And if our company grew and we had to make a hundred different mice in a year, then copying and pasting this a hundred times is not gonna make the code any easier to read. So we can make as many mice as we want that have different features by making a generic mouse that has the basics like left click and right click. So to do that, we'll just go to new class again. 
And we'll just call this mouse and hit finish. And our generic mouse is gonna have everything that all of our mice is gonna have. And all of our mice are gonna have left click, right click. So we can just take that and put it in here. So that way, it doesn't need to be in mouse one, it doesn't need to be in mouse two, and it does not need to be in mouse three. Make sure all of these are saved. And let's say also all of our mice are gonna have a scroll wheel. So we can do the same thing. Let's scroll up, scrolled up, and scroll down. In real life, these would be implemented like there'd be code in here, like if statements and for loops and parameters, but it wouldn't be as easy to show in the console here in a second when everything comes together. So now we have our generic mouse that can left click, right click, scroll up and scroll down. We can create a ton of other mice based on this and that's called inheritance. And to do inheritance is super simple. You just go up to the name of your first mouse and do extends mouse. Okay, seems pretty easy. Let's just do that to mouse two. And also mouse three. Now, if we created a main method here to see what's all going on and hit a public static void so we can run our code. If we create our first mouse, mouse one, call it m1 equals new mouse one. If we do m1 dot, we can see everything that that mouse one can do. And we can see that it has a texture and it can also left click, right click, scroll down and scroll up. Even though, even though when we go to mouse one, we don't see scroll up or scroll down, but since it extends mouse, these two keywords mean inherit, since it inherits from the generic mouse, it knows everything already. And that's why it knows left click, it knows right click, and it can also scroll down and scroll up. And if we run this, we'll actually see those methods being called. Click, click, scrolls down, scrolled up. And this happens too with all of them. So if we change this to mouse two, the same exact thing would happen. Two, 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 two. And there you go. But we also have the property specific to mouse two. We see connect, the method connect. Since mouse two is Bluetooth, we can do m2.connect like that. And now we see that connected message. But we can't, for example, get a texture because there's no texture in mouse two. There's only a texture in mouse one. So what this does is it lets us create a generic object and then we can create a bunch of different variations of it and keep track of it a lot simpler. And this is basically how everything is made when you think about it. A car company, for example, has a lot of different cars, a lot of different models. If you've ever heard them say a car platform, like the new BMW is on this new X7Y platform. The platform is the generic object. The BMW 5 Series platform can make a luxury version of that car or a sports version of that car, a high performance version of that car, but each version of the car can drive or roll the windows down, generic things. So I hope this was helpful. I tried to do it simply, but I realized I may have overcomplicated a little bit, but let me know if this mouse example was useful for you. Remember all inheritances is using methods and properties from a generic class and making different versions of them. That's why you see if the examples you have in school are like animal, a cat object extends animal, a dog object extends animal, but then under dog, you can have like cocker spaniel chihuahua, chihuahua extends dog, dog extends animal. The chihuahua is gonna have all the generic properties of an animal, like breathe, eat, things like that. So again, good luck on your, good luck on your test or your project. If you're still stuck, you can look at videos on my channel. I have a like 
maybe close to 40 now. Java tutorials that may be able to help you on your project and prepare you for your tests. I know I've helped a lot of people already. I know a lot of people have said that my videos have been helpful to them, so they might be helpful to you too. Good luck out there, have a great day.